please. Y'all can't keep calling everybody your friend and letting them come over to your house. Now, I ain't finna just up and just dislike nobody for no reason. You know what I'm saying? But you are not my friend. I'm going to keep it cordial. I'm going to speak to you when I speak to you and that's it. Because if I look at you and I get that gut feeling, because y'all know we all have that gut feeling. I get that gut feeling that I could not leave my man around you. Probably couldn't even leave my hot dog around you. You'll probably suck that before I get back and add my chili cheese on it. I'm not bringing nobody, no in and everybody to my house. And if you are my friend, all my friends know, come over here dressed like Pentecostal. Come over here dressed like you're ready to go to church and worship the Lord, okay? As a matter of fact, up under that skirt, I'm going to need you to have on a girdle and some pants. Don't come over here looking like no hoochie because you're not getting in and we're not going to be friends no more. And that goes for my mama anyway. And whether or not we want to admit it, she is absolutely right. She is absolutely right. Everybody that comes to in your face is not your friend. Everybody that you talk to is not your friend. Hell no, everybody can't just come over my house and I'm not at home. Girl, what? Mm -mm. Now, granted, if, I, if you got something to pick up and my husband is at home, yeah, I will send you over there. But with the intent of you going over there and picking up something. Don't go to stay. Don't go to talk. Don't go to have crumpets and tea and waffles. We're not going to have waffles and I'm not at home. Because you would hate for me to have to bust in the door and knock all the hinges off and pull all your scalp off. Fuck pulling the hair off. We're going to pull your scalp off. You will be bald by the time you leave if I find out you chilling at my house without me being there. Girl, no. She's absolutely right. No. Better suck the Hoover out of the vacuum. This brings me to a story I saw here on TikTok. I saw a story where a young lady had a friend and she called her best friend for four years. And throughout the years that they was friends, they always she always rescued her. If she needed money, she was always there. If she needed somewhere to stay, she was always there. If she needed somebody to watch her kids, she was always there. Always, always, always there. But but this particular time. She allowed her friend of four years to stay at her house. But when she was staying at her house because her man was there and this girl worked like first shift and she left them both there, she had a funny feeling that something was going on between something that was going on with her man. Not necessarily with her friend, but with her man. So she got suspicious and she started like looking for signs and stuff and checking his phone and stuff. Didn't find nothing. She didn't find anything in his phone. She felt nothing. So she just went on about her business. But as time went on and it progressed, she started noticing little stuff like him taking up for the, the roommate, the best friend. Him like playing with the best friend's kids excessively and not playing with their kids. He would like, they, she would, he would go to the store. He, she would know that he was going to the store and she would just hop in the car with him. Not ask her, not ask permission of her, not ask, see, and that brings me to another thing. If you doing anything, even if you bringing tissues to my husband, you should ask me first. Get permission from me first. Whether or not you my friend, my mama, or my cousin, or whatever, you get permission from me first to hop in that car. Whether or not people are willing to admit that, that is respect. And she noticed that this girl had just been hopping in the car with him and stuff like this. They picking out movies together and stuff like this. She never paid attention to it. But nevertheless, it still went on. And as time progressed, it got even worse. She started noticing that her and her man be sitting on the couch. And here come the best friend with a towel on coming straight through the living room. It's wait, wait, what? Wait, what? Absolutely. That's a no. Red flag. Oh, call, call half tab, a flag on the play. Listen, you out of here. Listen, no. What you mean? See, if it was me and you walked your behind out that bathroom and me and my husband sit on the couch and here you come with a towel on. Girl, no. By the time I finish jumping off that couch and doing the Matrix, your behind better ran down the hallway and got fully dressed. That's what we're not going to do. But nevertheless, she started noticing stuff like this. And she started noticing the different interactions between the best friend and her man. Now, remember I told y'all that the, that the, girl, the girl was going to work in the morning. 
The best friend will wake up intentionally and encourage her or have her coffee ready, been to pack her lunch and all this other stuff. But she had noticed that. So what did she do? She went and got a camera. When she got the camera, while they were gone, she installed the camera. And when she installed the camera, she never told her man and she never told her best friend. But she even forgot that she installed the camera. But this one particular time, her and her husband, her man or whoever the case may be, had got into it. They passed words. When they passed words, she went to work. The best friend called her and asked her what time was she getting off of work. Not asking her was she okay because her and her man had got into it. Not asking her was, she, was, was her feelings hurt, did she need any, anything or this and that. She, uh, the only question that the best friend asked her was what time she was getting off of work. That right there jogged her memory. Hey, there's a camera in the house. So when the kids went to school and she was at work, what do you think she found? Yeah, she waited until she got off work. Matter of fact, in the video, she, if I'm hoping that I can find the clip of, of what she has said. She said something to another, like she was going to go home and watch the video. And then if it was something on there that she didn't like, she was going to make a part two of the video. If I'm not mistaken, I think I saved it. But nevertheless, she waited. She got off of work and she rewind the camera and she saw what was going on in her own house under her own nose in front of everybody. The girl, mm -mm, ah, child, ooh. so she saw the video. Of course, she went to her car. She cried, mm -hmm. cried, went to my car, cried. Her husband wasn't getting off of work until six. That's when she decided that she was going to, that's the time that she gave, that she was going to redo the story. And she was going to find out, she was going to approach both of them about what she had saw that was on the camera. Now, keep in mind, I think I would have picked up on it when the conversation got too thick between them two. But nevertheless, ain't nobody like me. Nobody's the same. Because, see, listen to me. If I need to be a super sleuth, then that means I don't need to be with you. If I can't trust you around my friends, I can't trust my friends around you, you, I don't need to be with you. And that's not my fucking friend. That's not her friend. If you have to, you can't trust your friend in the house. No, that's not her friend. Nevertheless, wait till I hear the next part. Okay, a best friend. A best friend is just what that is. A best friend is not... A regular friend. A best friend is not a regular friend. I have a best friend of 20 something plus years. When I met my best friend, my best friend's oldest child was like two months old. She's 32 now. That's a best friend. My best friend, I can trust her to come over here and have a nap around my husband. I can trust my best friend to ride in the car with my husband. Because that's my best friend. Because there is a girl code. Whether or not he had a code, them best friends have a code. That's why they are called best friends. Your best friend is supposed to have your back. Your best friend is supposed to have your best interest at heart. Your best friend is supposed to be just what the word says. Best and friend. That separates your best friend from any other friend that you have. So you mean to tell me. That this girl went out her way. And when I, you can see the hurt in her face. You can hear the hurt because her, she was getting thick in the throat where she was trying to prevent herself from crying. It wasn't the fact that, it wasn't the fact that the whole overall, it was this, this was her best friend. I, 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 I just can't see it. My best friend had been in a relationship uh, for years. And I had never crossed the line. If she was not there, I would knock on the door. And I would wait on the other side of that screen door until he gave me whatever I needed out the house. Never not once would I ever cross that threshold. And even if I did, I stood at the door. I never went any further. He knew not to answer that door in no drawers, no t-shirt, no none of that. He should have been he should have been very well dressed. But I never had that issue with my best friend or her man or my best friend and my man or my best friend with anything because that's my best friend. But nevertheless, this was her best friend. And she got home that day and she watched the camera. And when she watched the camera, 
it totally blew her mind. When she got home and she watched the camera, she watched her best friend get off the couch, no water, no soap, and go in and have sex with her husband or her man or whoever the hell this wretched fool was. Watch them have sex, not once, but twice in that house where her kids have to play at on her couch, nevertheless. Anywho, she watched the camera. She waited until they both was there. When she waited until they both was there, she confronted them both. They both denied it. And this is this. The fight broke out between her and her friend. Her best friend. She did go into showing. She kept making excuses like um, her camera was messing up. Her Wi-Fi was broken and all this other stuff. But you could tell she had been in a fight because she was red in the face. She was Caucasian. She was red in the face. Her hair was dishuffled. And you could tell she had been in a fight. But she was still trying to explain why she didn't go and make the second part of the story at 6 o'clock. But nevertheless, the boyfriend or husband or whoever the hell he was, was still there. The best friend was gone. At the end of the day, they both would have had to been gone. Why would you keep him there? Why would you keep him there and he did what he did on your couch where your kids lay, flip, lay their head, rest, and all this other stuff. When you got to lay your face on that couch with her funky behind, she didn't even wash her butt before she lay with this girl's husband. Nevertheless, this story really triggered it for me. This story really triggered it for me because at the end of the day, as a woman, whether or not you, as a woman, you have to have respect for yourself. Whether she didn't even have respect enough for herself to go wash her marinated behind before she messed around with this girl's man. This story here really triggered it for me. I think women as women, it's certain things you should and should not be able to do. If I gave you a place for you and your kids to lay your head because you was a bum bitch and you couldn't get a job and take care of yourself and I let you stay in my house and you gonna sleep with my man, oh, I'm gonna, every time I see you, it's on the floor. Believe that. Every time I see you, you would not rest. I be hand behind poles, underneath cars and stuff, waiting until you came out. And every time you came out, I will hand you your behind. No, I don't, I feel some type of way about this story. It's got me riled up. My God, it couldn't have been me, baby. Couldn't have been me. Now, granted, her views and my views on this subject is like totally, totally different. When I saw Crazy Alex this morning while I was getting ready for to do everything I had to do this morning, child, go watch YouTube. Go watch my YouTube channel, girl. You will see everything I had to do this morning. Girl, uh-uh. But anyway, back on the subject. When I saw this video by Crazy Alex, I thought to myself, wow. And then I remembered that I had watched the entire story of how this girl, and granted, the girl was dirty. Like, she was filthy. You, The girl let you stay there, but it was, it was, it was toys all over the place. It was clothes. She had her, her like makeup bag and stuff all on her couch and stuff like this. She wasn't watching kids. Kids acting rather crazy around the house. So you mean to tell me you've been at the house all day doing nothing while I'm at work? Uh, and my house ain't clean. The kids ain't settled. By the time I get off, the kids should have been settled. The house should have been clean. You should have your shit in order. You should be able to tell me what kind of job you was looking for while I was at my job. But no, no, not her, not her. House still in a disarray. Husband satisfied. Man, her man satisfied. He in there sleep. And you is here. Uh-uh. No. I just think, to me, I think, I think she should have put, just as well as she made her leave, he should have left too. Because how, what kind of respect would I have for you? What kind of respect should I have had for you? This is the place where we both, and keep in mind, the main part of this story is he was at home, no job. She was at the house, no job. 
I'm the only one got a job. I'm making the wheels turn. I'm bringing home the butter. I'm bringing home the bread and all this other stuff. And you, y'all can't do no better by me but to mess over me and sleep with each other because y'all both don't got nothing to do. So therefore, she, the friend was more wrong because even if he had approached her, it was her job as a best friend to go to her best friend and say, hey, this your man is coming at me in the wrong kind of way. And I just wanted to let you know that because you are my friend. You let me stay here and I was homeless. But nevertheless, she didn't do that. What did she do? Nothing. Got kicked out. Now she homeless. She she got she her butt is wet and she homeless. I think I got more upset because the girl didn't let the, the girl didn't make him leave. If it was me, they both would have been gone. But there again, everybody's best friend ain't mass. Thank you, Jean. That my best friend. She a real bad bitch, got her own money.